Hey photographers, I am Keita with Keita Tour Photography and I'm back today with the May Photo Challenge where we're going to go over how to shrink someone, how to thin someone out because if you haven't already, you're going to have a request about, I want my arms to look smaller, I want my midsection to look smaller. Some people have insecurities about their weight and how they look in photo and they want to slim out. So I'm going to show you how to easily do that with the liquify tool in Adobe Photoshop. So make sure you stay all the way to the end so you can get step-by-step -step instruction on how I'm going to modify this photo. By the way, she was fine with her look, but I decided to go in and do um, a liquify on this photo. So stay tuned all the way to the end so you can see how long it takes and get instructions on how to do so for yourself. And before we do, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and a notification bell so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into this video. All right, let's start thinning out this subject in this photo. So I'm gonna start my stopwatch. As you can see, it has started and let's get going. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate this layer because, you know, we don't wanna make any mistakes. If we wanna revert back, we're gonna duplicate it as always. Now I am actually going to go up to the filter button at the top and then click on liquify. Now, as you can see now it's kind of, you know, centered in. We have some different tools here. And so on the left hand side, you'll see a toolbar. You'll see a pucker tool. You'll see a blow tool and push left tool. You see a twirl tool. So you have some different tools here, reconstruct or whatever. So we're going to start with the pucker tool. And as you can see, this brush size is quite big. If you ever have to make it smaller or bigger, you can come over here to the right in this properties menu under the brush tool options and make the brush smaller or bigger. So that might be too small because you want the brush to kind of cover the entire area. So with that said, I'm gonna try this one and see what happens. So as you can see, we're just gonna click. We're just clicking and clicking and clicking to make this smaller and smaller. But do you see what's happening over here on the right? It's distorting the fence. So with that, I'm gonna go over to the reconstruct tool and I'm going to make this brush smaller. Oh, that's too small, too small. So we're going to use this brush to reconstruct the fence. So as you can see, there's still some distortion here. I don't really like, so I'm actually going to redo, redo this. I'm gonna try again, make the brush a little bit smaller and we're just going to Go in, and as you can see, the fence is going, it's going to fence, it's going to fence. And there's not much we can do about that. At this moment, we're gonna try to reconstruct it a little bit more for this part here. And that looks pretty good. Her stomach is pretty good compared to what it was. So I'm gonna click on K, okay. So we can compare the layers, the original to the updated one. So as you can see, this is the updated one and this is the old one. So obviously it's changed the pattern a little bit on the jumpsuit, but not too much, not too much. And now for the background with this fence, it is horrid. Like <laughs> who wants that? So we can do a few different things here. So we can actually, I think I might do the clone tool which I have not done a challenge on this just yet for you guys, but we're gonna do a clone tool today. I'm gonna make the brush bigger. We're gonna make the photo huge. Trying to pick the right selection. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like it. We're not gonna do the clone because this is gonna get a little funny there. I guess I could do the clone a little bit. Let's pull it back up. Let's pull it back up to 200. Because if we just clone it, these wavy fence things. What? Girl, bye. Just keep on cloning it upward. 
we'll touch up we'll touch that up here in just a moment make the brush smaller so we get right next to her and we are going to take this content aware tool to smooth things up tool just let me know um, I sped through that just so you could see what I had to do but basically I took the clone tool to straighten up the fence that had been moved inward when I like made her midsection smaller and then um, I had to make some adjustments because it still was kind of distorted towards her body so I made some adjustments using this um, tool here the spot healing brush tool as well as using the clone stamp again to kind of get that white space filled in. So that's what I did in this photo. And as you can see, this is the after, and here is the before. So as you can see, I've shrunk down her midsection and made some edits on the fencing as well as the pillar here. Okay, photographers, that is how you use the liquify tool. It is pretty easy to use, but as you can see, you might have to tweak it. You might have to redo it a few times to get it the way you really, really want it to be and it could also distort things in your background. So you might have to reconstruct, you might have to use some other tools within Photoshop like I did, like the clone stamp, as well as the spot healing brush to really get the final photo that I wanted to get. It took me nine minutes and five seconds to get this done, which included obviously using the liquefying tool to get her stomach the way I would like it to be, as well as making sure it looks good still around her body. So using that clone stamp and making some other edits along the way, and then also doing a voiceover at the same time. So with all that said, nine minutes is pretty good. Obviously it could take you longer or not as long depending on your subject in your photo. So hopefully you don't have to do that many because that can be time consuming. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Please make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks so they can learn how to use the liquify tool as well. And if you have any questions about using the liquify tool or if you would like to see other demonstrations in photoshop please let me know in the comment box lastly last but definitely not least if you would love to support my small business even further please make sure you check out my print shop at cutiesword.darkroom.com or if you are ever in the atlanta area you can book a photo shoot with me by emailing me at info at thank you so much for watching have a great day or night wherever in the world you are bye